Hi guys, this is Per Nickel. I'm a composer and sound designer from Munich, Germany. And today I would like to show you one of my favorite modules at the moment, the Quasar from Neuzeit Instruments. So, let's get started. Quasar is the first 3D binaural UREG module on the market and it's very much fun to use. But before we continue, you will need to get your headphones, otherwise you won't hear the full effect of the binaural audio processing. So instead of listening to your UREG sound in mono or stereo, you can send it to Quasar and let it do its magic. It will process your audio signal into a spatial 3D sound that you can move around your head by changing its three dimensions, angle, height and distance. The interface is pretty simple. Down here you have two audio inputs with two volume knobs and over here are two CV inputs with which you can modulate basically any parameter in the module you want to. Over here you have the main outs as well as the phone's out jack, which will both output the binaural audio signal and they also come with a volume knob for each. In the middle of the module you'll find the menu of Quasar, which is very easy to use as it doesn't have too many submenus and is structured pretty self-explanatory. Above it are two big encoders with which you can edit all parameters in the menu. I really like the huge LED rings as they just look gorgeous and give you visual feedback on what you're editing in the menu too. What you are hearing at the output depends for one thing on your settings in the menu, but also on those three volume knobs up here, which are called Quasar 1, Center and Quasar 2. Quasar, by the way, is a term invented by the developer and describes the virtual position of the audio signal in its three-dimensional space. You can route the audio signals to Quasar 1, 2 or both of them at the same time. They can also be routed to the center position, which is the dry signal without any processing from the module. So basically you can make a wet dry mix with these three knobs without the need to edit anything in the menu. Find the positions of your audio signal in the three-dimensional space for Quasar 1 and 2, you have three main parameters at hand as already mentioned, angle, height and distance. You can edit those manually in the menu or you can modulate them with external control voltages or with the internal LFOs, which I like to use a lot. Let me show you some examples. Thank you. 
So I hope you liked the video and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. See you soon. Bye.